Hello and welcome to MaryCast. This is Dr. Mark Miravalli. We've been talking about the Lady of All Nations, apparitions approved by the church, given official approval by the local bishop on May 31st, 2002. Uh, these messages are phenomenally important, my friends. Uh, I ask you to take a serious look at what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, we've done a series on these messages, uh, and you can certainly go to Air Maria and, and see the previous uh, messages we've done and programs on these messages that give commentary. Why is this so important? Because it's, it's talking about apparitions which gave prophecies 50 years ago, which are happening now, happening in our era. Things like worldwide economic crisis, natural disaster after natural disaster, uh, unprecedented climate change, specific geopolitical prophecies of places of war, including Jerusalem, uh, Cairo being the most recent in a prophecy she gave back in 1947. Uh, the things she's prophesied 50 years ago are happening now. Now, I want to read to you the May 31st, 1955 message from the Lady of All Nations. And uh, I think this is so very important because she's telling us a couple of key notes. One is, Satan is not yet banished. Number two, the Trinity has sent Our Lady in precisely to banish Satan. Number three, she's asking for a new descent of the Holy Spirit. But number four, she's calling us to cooperate by praying a prayer. A prayer asking Jesus to send the Holy Spirit anew into the hearts of all nations, preventing the generation disaster of war. And this prayer will also pre uh, prepare the way for the proclamation of the dogma of Mary Corredemptrix, Mediatrix, and Advocate, which is the ultimate condition for her to bring peace to the world. So let me read you this message. It's, it's a longer message, but bear with me. And I ask you to ask the Holy Spirit to discern this message with you, because I believe it's a message for now, a, a new call for this prayer, uh, particularly in, in light of the events that are taking place as we speak. So, May 31st, 1955, message. This is during benediction in the Church of St. Thomas Aquinas in Amsterdam, Holland. The lady says, Say my prayer. But because of emotion, I am unable to say the prayer at once. Then the lady says again, Say my prayer. And she herself starts prompting the prayer, Lord Jesus Christ, and makes me continue it. Now the lady waits a short while, looks in front of her, and then begins to speak, quote, I am standing here as the Lady of All Nations, the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. Here the Lady breaks off, then, as if addressing an invisible crowd in front of her, begins to speak as follows, quote, I have promised to come today, May 31st. The Mother, the Lady of All Nations, is standing here before you. She wants to address the nations today. Listen carefully to my words. I have come to warn the nations Satan is not yet banished. Nations, be warned against false prophets. The Lady of All Nations is allowed to come every year. She promised to give her sign. This sign has now been given. I said I shall come back but in a public place. Well then, nations, this instrument hears the voice of the Lady so that she may convey her word to you. This in light of the fact that Our Lady now appears for the first time in a public place in the Church of St. Thomas Aquinas in Amsterdam. Here the Lady waits a while, then says, quote, Satan is not banished yet. The Lady of all nations is now permitted to come in order to banish Satan. She comes to announce the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will only now descend over this earth. But you should say my prayer, the one I gave to the world. Every day and every moment you should think of the prayer the Lady of All Nations gave to this world at this time. How thoroughly Satan holds the world in his clutches, only God knows. He now sends to you, to all nations, his mother, the Lady of All Nations. She will vanquish Satan, as has been foretold. She shall place her foot upon Satan's head. Nations, do not be deceived by false prophets. Listen only to him, to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. For the same Father is the same Son, she says very slowly and with pauses, the same 
Father and Son is the same Holy Spirit. Then the lady waits a long time and says, You will have to endure a great deal as yet in this century. You nations of this era do realize that you are under the protection of the Lady of All Nations. Call upon her as the advocate. Ask her to stave off all disasters. Ask her to banish degeneration from this world. Degeneration breeds disaster. Degeneration generates war. You should ask by means of my prayer to eject it from this world. You do not know what great value and power this prayer boasts before God. He will grant the requests of his mother when she comes to plead for you as advocate. Here the lady waits a long time before she goes on. Great events are impending. You, young people, will see enormous changes. It is the Lady of All Nations who tells you this. She will protect you. She will reign in this age, in this age, in this world, over all nations as the Lady. This will be a time of stupendous and awesome inventions, so that even your pastors will stand amazed and will tell you, we too are at our wit's end. Then take to heart the words the Lady spoke to you on May 31st. The Father knows and permits all that will happen and pass in the world. Know well that the Holy Spirit is nearer than ever. The Holy Spirit will come now only if you pray for His coming. He has always been ready. Now, however, the time has come. The world has lost its bearings. Well, then, nations, put your trust in your mother, who has never yet forsaken her children. She is allowed to come to you under this new title, co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate. Why do you not ask your Holy Father to pronounce the dogma the Lady demands? The Lady pauses during the benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. The Lady joins her hand together for a moment, while before and after this her hands were extended as in the picture. Directly the blessing is over. She continues, Once the dogma has been pronounced, the Lady of All Nations will give her blessing. Then the Lady of All Nations will bestow peace. She will help you when this dogma has been proclaimed. Great things are about to happen. The world is in the throes of degeneration. Nations, be mindful of the daily miracle given you by the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave it to you so that you might experience it every day. Do you realize what it is you are going without? Nations, I told you I would come to summon the peoples and bring succor to my children, the apostles and all the nations. Well, the lady has now come. You must lead your children to the Lord Jesus Christ. You must teach them again how to pray, just as the lady of all nations teaches you to say her prayer. The lady asks you, parents, teach your children this prayer. Bring your children back to the sacrifice. Let all nations come back to the sacrifice of the Mass. And when I say nations, I mean thereby my white and especially my black sheep standing about me. White people do concern yourselves with the black peoples. They have to be led towards the Lord Jesus Christ. They have to be shown the way to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you begin to ask the Holy Father for the dogma, the Lady will then fulfill her promise and true peace will come. True peace, nations, that is the kingdom of God. God's kingdom now is nearer than ever. Understand these words well. It is really and truly the mother, the lady of all nations, who is telling you this. Here, then, is my admonition. Do not listen to false prophets. Listen only to your shepherds, to those who lead you the right way, to the voice of conscience, to a higher being. This I say for the benefit of those who do not belong to the true church. You, members of the Church of Rome, appreciate your great, your own great happiness. Do your actions bear this out? Your mother, the Lady of all nations, may come to you once a year under this new title. Later, this will change. Understand my words well when I say, make sure that every year the nations will be assembled around this throne before this picture. This is the great favor that Mary, Miriam, or the Lady of all nations is allowed to bestow on the world. I say... She will come back. She will speak to her apostles. Now the lady is addressing you first. All you nations stand by your apostles. Do not make things so difficult for them. Offer 
your children again as a sacrifice to the Lord. Apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, your lady understands you. Your lady will help you in all your difficulties. Your lady will assist you. In her name, ask the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, who will come now more fully than ever. The kingdom of God is nearer than ever. Nations, do you realize what this will mean? Are you aware, nations, that the responsibility lies on you, you men who hold higher offices? Do not lead children astray. Do not misguide the least of my children. You are responsible before your Lord Jesus Christ. And the lady repeats this with emphasis. You bear the responsibility. I said a minute ago, alarming inventions will, make, will, will, will be made. God permits this, but you nations can make sure that it does not result in disaster. Nations, I implore you, the lady entreats you, mark it well. The mother of God has never entreated you in this way before. Now the lady waits again before she says, to spare you from falling a prey to alarming inventions. Nations, the lady begs you now today, do ask the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, that he may protect his people and may restore unity among them. Unity is what his people must achieve. They must be one, and over them the lady of all nations. One community, nations. I stress these words, one community. Take thought of the future. And now the lady seems to smile. No, the lady does not say, provide for your material future. Try to understand the reason for my coming today. The Lord Jesus Christ has selected this great day for the lady of all nations. Her mission is to establish unity among her nations. She is sent to make one great community of her nations, to gather all nations into one community. That is the task set before the world in this present time, which I have heralded repeatedly. Again and again I have spoken of this time in private. Well, now this time has come. Satan is not banished yet. It is for you to see to it that you people of the Church of Rome, remember your sacraments. They still exist. You Christian people, by your example, bring others to him, to the daily miracle, to the daily sacrifice. In this way, the world, the words, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed, will be fulfilled. Today, this message of the Lady of All Nations goes out over all the world. I say, I will comfort you. Nations, your mother knows what life is like. Your mother is familiar with sorrow. Your mother knows what the cross means. Whatever you suffer in this life, your mother, the Lady of All Nations, suffered before you. She has shown you the way in her own person. The Lady waits a moment and adds very slowly, but she went up to the Father. She returned to her Son. You two nations go to the Father along the way of the cross. You two go to the Son along the way of the cross. The Holy Spirit will help you to do this. Implore Him now. I cannot repeat this often enough to the world. Have recourse to the Holy Spirit now. So let me say, let's obey Our Lady. Let's get this prayer. The prayer can be received free of charge. We'll send it to you. Write to us at Mother of All Peoples. Uh, you can use our email, mary at motherofallpeoples.com. You can call us, 740-937-2277. 740-937-2277. Or you can Facebook us at Mother of All Peoples. Let us know how many prayer cards you want. We'll send them free of charge. It's time we obey Our Lady's request. She was present at the first Pentecost. She's present now for this new uh, Pentecost, but she needs our cooperation. So, two things. Number one, pray the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. Get it off internet or get it from us. Number two, petition the Holy Father for the fifth dogma as she asked for. You can do that electronically. Go to motherofallpeoples.com. You'll see on the home page uh, a picture of the Pope. Click his picture and you can send him an electronic petition for this dogma. Or you can go to Fifth Marian Dogma and do the same thing. The time is now. I believe what Our Lady's saying is taking place now. The Holy Spirit is waiting to come afresh now, but we have to respond. Let's do our part for the new Pentecost and for the, pr the presentation of the true faith and the truth about Our Lady. This is Mark Mirabali with Mary Cast saying, please pray the prayer of the Lady of all nations. Petition the Holy Father. God bless you.